joining me for a day in the life of. And this morning we're teaching classes, so you're gonna join me for some classes, join me for my eating today, get to know me a little bit better, for better or for worse for you guys. So, if you're ready, I'm excited to share my day with you and get to know all of you a little bit better. So, let's get started. and now I'm doing a little bit of work which includes sending out any shirt orders which I'm doing and answering your questions on Facebook and responding to emails and just making sure that I'm up to date with everything that's going on. Um, also, if I have any other little things to finish up like blog posts, I'll get that done now too before I really jump into some of the other stuff for the day, uh, any new programs or you know creating new recipes or any of that other stuff. So it starts out with making sure that I'm all cut up and that you guys have some information to start your day, uh, maybe putting up anything on social media. We are gonna do a live today, so so we'll do that a little bit uh, after I sort of get everything organized and get on top of the day. Uh, had some fun today working the core in classes. Fun for me, I guess. I don't know how much everybody else enjoyed it, but you know, we all like the hard workout. We, we love to hate it. Uh, but yeah, we're just getting the day started with answering some emails, sending out some orders, and having a little bit of fun. <laughs> Hey guys, we're about to start our Friday Five. Every week on Facebook, I do a five minute workout. Uh, it's always a little burnout that you can do that you can add on or use it if you're short on time. So if you didn't know this, check them out. Every Friday, five minutes on Facebook, Friday Five. Uh, today we're actually gonna do a core one, one specifically designed to really work your obliques. And I'm super excited, we're getting set up right now. Uh, everything's gonna be 20 seconds, we're gonna do three rounds through. We're gonna do squat with oblique knee tuck, we're gonna do some plank scorpions, we're gonna do um, some dip with tabletop toe touches, so I can't even remember, tabletop toe touch dips, uh, and then we're gonna do some plank with oblique knee tucks, and we're gonna do some leg wipers. We're gonna do three rounds through, it's gonna really work those obliques, it's gonna work that entire core. I'm super excited, and I hope you guys now tune in and check out all the Friday Five. If you missed one and you wanna go back and watch them, they're all available underneath my videos tab, and soon they're gonna be coming to some place else too, so be excited. Anyway, gotta go shoot, see you guys later. All right, so plank, and you're up, you're tucking, and then you're rotating. with the Friday Five, and now I'm gonna take you through a really quick cardio workout. Uh, a little worn out this week, so I'm just doing something quick that will get my blood really pumping. It doesn't always have to be a complicated workout. Sometimes simple is best, and sometimes just doing something quick so you get something in even when you're tired or worn out is great. So, workout 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, rower, double under, sit-ups. Basic three moves. You do 50 reps or 50 calories on the rower, then you do 40 after you finish all three, then 30, 20, 10. I love that setup. It's a great way to do a great cardio workout. You can sub in any exercises, whether or not you're on the road and traveling, or you have a whole gym full of equipment. It's a great way to get in a quick workout. So I'm gonna take you through it. We'll have some fun. Alright guys, so I'm gonna change and we're gonna go 
I'm in the changing room in case you guys haven't seen my beautiful changing room because I like superheroes and I think we're all superheroes. But anyway, we're gonna go get some coffee post-workout um, and have some fun and relax a little bit. It's usually when we talk about, you know, things that are going on, it's a way to sort of calm down, take some time out because I think it's so important that you do. Uh, we can't just go, go, go all the time. And I really like the routine of coffee. I don't actually like coffee that much, but I like the routine of coffee, so I found a way that I actually do enjoy a morning cup of coffee, and it's with a protein shake. So now you guys get a little sneak peek inside of my morning routine. Hey guys, so we're heading over to get coffee. Ryan's driving. Hi, say hi to Ryan. And Coconut's coming too, because this place allows us to have our puppy, which is why we like it. Um, we're going to get some coffee. As I mentioned, I like the morning routine of coffee, even though I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of coffee, but I found a way, and I actually really love to add protein to my iced coffee or even an iced Americano. And I add different things depending on how, what I'm feeling. And right now I'm in the mode of adding heavy whipping cream actually. I like it, it hits my macros, it makes the shake really creamy and delicious. So that's what I'm adding currently. Uh, I love, like part of what I like about the routine is just the fact that we get to sit there. And I feel like so often we don't like turn off our devices and decompress and really spend time with people. And the morning coffee for us is just the routine of like talking about what's going on, talking about business, talking about life, you know, talking about anything that's bothering us. It's a time to just connect and be without any sort of devices that we're, you know, playing with and, you know, take time just for us. And I hope that you guys have that too, because it's so important that you have that time to just decompress and not be connected to anything and take time really for yourself to mentally relax and just discuss all the wonderful things that are going on or, you know, maybe the problems too, so that you can work through them. But anyway, Coconut's joining us and she loves to sometimes behave and sometimes growl at the people walking by. So you never know which Coconut's gonna show up, but it'll be fun. I always joke that I look really not gnarly now at coffee shops because I get like a, a black coffee or a black Americano and I, I, I maybe add cream but you know like no sweeteners, no latte, no whatever and really the only way I drink coffee if I don't add protein is like with lots of sugar aka a frappuccino but I look gnarly right now because I do the little mix so now guys I'm going to show you how I make my coffee protein shake. So we're just gonna walk around, go shopping a little bit. Uh, today is kind of a, a relaxing day. I'm gonna do a little bit more work and everything and we're gonna go over actually some of the stuff from a recent photo shoot and put together some of that and you get to see that a little ahead of time and some of the other projects we're working on. But I really wanted to start doing these because I wanted to show you guys the balance that I have in my life because I think sometimes you think in order to get results we have to like basically live health and fitness and there's always a balance you know I'm gonna take you through a cheat day I'm gonna take you through a photo shoot day I'm gonna take you through all these different things to show you the balance that I've struck and also help you guys remember that like there's always gonna be stress in our life and there's always ways to find a balance and it's not about perfection there's times where I'm stressed out and I take days off and I want to show you that too I want to show you how I eat on vacation, the fact that I relax too, or when I'm eating well, what I'm eating. I want you guys to know that, you know, while it's important that we dial in our workouts and our diet, it can't consume our lives and that we have to listen to our bodies. We have to take time off when we mentally need it. We need breaks. 
we have to take it. So I want to show you the balance that I've struck and how important reducing stress in your life really is because when you reduce stress, you also really help your hormone levels function correctly. You help get the results that you want a lot faster. So I'm hoping that you're enjoying my day in the life of and that it's something you'll come back to and tune in for more, whether or not it's cheating, vacation, whatever else we're doing. So we're going to go uh, enjoy walking around. Even though it's not the sunny stay here, it's still really nice and warm. So we walked around, we had our coffee protein shake, it's now time to make some breakfast. Some days I skip breakfast, some days I eat it. Uh, I've actually gotten a lot of questions about intermittent fasting and I listen to my body and respond to what it needs. So if that means that day I'm fasting, I fast. If that day I'm hungry, like today I woke up really early and I had a really busy week so I'm pretty hungry today so I'm gonna have breakfast. Uh, it is a 40-30-30 week so today we're using that breakdown. We're gonna make some breakfast tacos. I'm actually gonna prep some chicken because I don't have any already prepped. So that I'll use later today too in the fried rice. I'll save it and use it the rest of the week. I love prepping just a simple chicken and then being able to use it whenever I want. It makes meal prep really easy but it keeps things interesting in that I'm not eating the same thing but I've done one prep with the main ingredient, the chicken, and I can use it in a variety of things. So join me as I prep some delicious breakfast tacos. We're gonna do a little work. We're gonna edit some of the videos that we got from the photo shoot and we're, we're in the process of creating the Macro Cycling Shred book. So we're gonna work a little bit on that. That's right here if you can sort of see it. Uh, but I'm working with Ryan so we have his nice little setup right here. Uh, a couple different computers that we can watch all the different things on. Uh, there's a really nice blooper that we're going to check out from yesterday which I have the pain from still. Anyway, uh, this is a sneak peek inside some of the upcoming stuff. Audio jungle. That's all you get. All right guys, so this is the nice little blooper from the photo shoot and the video. I was gonna do some pull-ups and I was trying to fit the videographer underneath the pull-up bar too and didn't time or place myself well. Okay, problem. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we've watched this on replay. Ryan posted it to social media because while most people might not be a huge spaz, Apparently I am. So you got a little sneak peek into some of the stuff we're doing and now it's back to work because I have got to work on this book to make sure that everything gets out correctly and you guys get some great new recipes, a great extended edition. Uh, we also are working on more videos because we might have some on-demand stuff coming up. But back to work check back in later. All right, so I need a little break from work uh, and I don't like sitting for too long without getting up and moving, which I'm way better about at the gym than I am at home. So that's why I have all of these fun guys here. Uh, mini bands, uh, rad roller kit, my simple mobility tool, just a little cross ball, a tennis ball, which has hair on it, ew. Uh, but I have all my tools here just to help me loosen up and roll out a little bit so that I get moving a little bit more during the day so that I'm not just sitting all the time. So I'm gonna take a little rollout session. So it's time for lunch. We've done a little bit of work, did a little bit more rolling out. Uh, it's time for some fried rice. I am a very lazy person and I don't want to have to do any more work than I need to. So again, I'm using chicken that I already prepped 
and I'm just gonna make some rice and luckily Trader Joe's even makes it really easy so that I can put my rice in the microwave and like do it for two seconds and it's done. I don't even have to cook it on the stove top. But I like to simplify things, so again, I'm using the same chicken, I'm not having to recreate an entire meal. You can even make leftovers. Leftovers are great, I love making leftovers. It's why I like making things like the protein rice, rice crispy treats or any of those other treats that have servings that you can eat out for you know days, sometimes even weeks if you freeze a lot of the different stuff. Freezing is amazing. I even freeze cheat day stuff so that I can get it off of like the countertop so that I don't think about it until I want it the next cheat day. And I don't feel guilty for some reason. It's like freezing will keep it forever. So all of a sudden I can be like, oh, I can wait till the next cheat day. Anyway, side note, but we're gonna prep a, si a simple meal. I love stir fries, they're great. You can load them down with veggies, you can make them a bazillion different ways, but it's delicious and we're gonna have some stir fry for lunch. taking coconut out and uh, Ryan joined me too. Hi. So we're out for a walk, uh, get a little vitamin D, relax a little bit, decompress after working. It's really great to get up and move as much as possible. That doesn't mean do two a day workouts. It means do something that's completely stress free, that's almost recovery, that just gets you moving more during the day. Not everything has to be about, you know, the hardest, most gnarly thing you can do. Sometimes it's just good just to get out in the sun and relax. So we're going for a nice little walk. We're gonna throw the frisbee for coconut. She's a, a frisbee machine uh, and just enjoy the sunshine. So enjoy our walk. So we just stopped at the store and grabbed some food. Uh, a lot of times we do a shop for at least a few days, but sometimes when we're making something a little bit nicer for like an evening, hey, rise as high, <laughs> an evening dinner that's like a little bit special, especially when it's like fish, salmon, uh, it's nice to get it fresh. So we stopped at the store, grabbed some salmon, asparagus, sweet potatoes, gonna make a nice little dinner, grill out and enjoy some more sun. Uh, but just heading home now from the store and from the walk to do that. So we'll see you at the grill. We'll see you at the grill. So we're out at the barbecue. Say hi to Ryan. He's grilling. He's the grill master and coconut just sort of chills and smells all the food He's and hopes we drop master. the chill master and hopes we uh, We just drop some food for her to indulge in but we're grilling up some salmon and some as asparagus Can't even say the word and we're cooking up some sweet potato fries in the oven Yum, it's nice every once in a while to take time to make a meal and not just prep for the week Even though that makes it really easy and I think prep is super super key to keep you on track It's also really nice to sort of spoil yourself by indulging in cooking the meal and I think taking that time to really make something nice for yourself is really it's a way to celebrate it's a way to relax it's a way to indulge without necessarily having to eat bad or go out to a meal uh, it's taking time for yourself and so we're making a nice little meal to celebrate uh, a long week and a photo shoot and all that other stuff and going to Cuba next week so it, it's nice to take time um, I'll also probably have like a little treat later. I made some protein rice crispy treats earlier this week to have at the photo shoot as a quick snack and I'll probably have that as dessert. I'm a big sweet treat person so for me it's really important to have something sweet at the end of the night. I grew up having it and I don't want to change that because by changing that then all I think about is how I want something sweet. So I have sweet treats as often as possible and the protein rice crispy treats because they have peanut butter in them are delicious and I love them. Uh, we'll also probably just hang out, watch some shows. We like re-watching shows over and over again. 
we do like watching new shows and finding new shows, but every once in a while it's nice to have a show that you're familiar with to rewatch. Uh, I don't know if you guys binge watch those, but we do when we work and then just sort of when we want to talk and we just want something on in the background that we can laugh at, like the Dundies, if you know what show that's from. Uh, and then later tonight I'll probably do a last check of social media and emails because I like to go to bed knowing that I've sort of taken care of everything, wrapped up any loose ends, prepped everything for tomorrow so I don't have to get up and get right out of the bed and get going. Um, it's nice to make sure that like things are set so that like when I get up in the morning I don't check email right away or get stressed and I can help you guys the best way possible. So we're gonna relax and enjoy and eat some really really good food after we've grilled it up and hang by the uh, the grill for a little bit, have some La Croix. La Croix, I think they're actually technically called, but that's the fancy way that Ryan tried to pronounce it in French, I think, once. Anyway, I'll make fun of him a little bit. So we're gonna relax and indulge. There's some weirdness going on over here. Just chilling. Just chilling with coconut. Relaxing. Waiting. Waiting for the food. Waiting for the food. Talking. Hanging out. Hanging out. Having fun. Yeah.